hey, it's Matt with Replit here. And today I'm going to show you how to install languages and configure the workspace for any REPL that you open. So here we are in the REPL workspace. We have a blank REPL. You can see that there really aren't any files. There's just a readme file. Um, the shell's empty. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add some languages. So I'm going to go over to the dependencies tab here. And there are two different types of, of dependencies that we can install. We can install languages or packages. So we'll first add a new module and we're going to install Python. So if I wanted to install Python 3.13, I can just click that download icon and the module is now installed. Um, then I can go over to the Python packager and add a new package. And so let's say uh, pandas here. So we have pandas. That's the correct pa package from PyPy. I'll click install and we have pa pandas installed. And you can see a couple things happen, right? On the left here, we got a Py project toml file and this is what our package manager we're using uv here uses to manage dependencies so if you're familiar with requirements.txt if you're familiar with some of these other methods for managing dependencies uh, you know that the dependency is listed with a version number so now there are multiple ways that we can add dependencies we could just add another package here for example numpy 121.3 we don't want to do that you can also go to the shell and do something like uv add uh, numpy which should technically should already be added with pandas, but you can see NumPy is now added to the dependencies pane. So effectively what we just did was stand up the package management for Python. It's likely if you start from a Python template, this process will already be put in place. Like all of these packages will already just appear. I just wanted to make it very clear how you would start from scratch. So I told you we were gonna install languages, we we're gonna install dependencies. Now I wanna show you how to, uh, how to manage the REPL, how to configure the run button and get started building. So the run button is configured uh, in, by the .replit file. And to see that, you might have to click the three dots and click show hidden files. But once you do, you'll see it in the config file here. So the run button, we can simply configure to say like something like python main.py. And that's just the Python command to run a main pi file. So if I create a new file and call it main uh, pi, and then I do something like uh, if name uh, equals main, whoops, extra quote uh, there. We'll do something. This is, uh, you know, the default run command for Python. We'll say hello world. That's simple. Now, when I click the run command, you can see I got some <laughs> confetti there uh, and I got hello world in my console. So this rebel is all hooked up for the run command to execute a specific file. We installed Python, we installed dependencies. It's likely if you start from a template, that you'll already have these things. But say you're in you know, a node template and you want to add in Python, you'd follow the same process. Uh, and one more time, you can use this dependencies tab uh, to install system modules and system dependencies. Or you know, the parallel here is that really the module is con controlled by this modules parameter in the .replit file um, and the run command is controlled by the run parameter. And then, you know, if we're using a package manager, if we're using Python, uh, Replit's default is UV for Python. If we're using that package manager, you can define those in the PyProjectTomal. If you're using uh, Node, you know, package JSON, you, you define that in the package JSON. So in just a couple of minutes, uh, we installed Python, we configured dependencies, we installed languages. That's how you manage dependencies and languages in Replit for Python. Again, I'm Matt with Replit. Until next time, peace.